All right, welcome back to round three. Hopefully we can get there for the trophy. Uh, this hand's a good start. No black matter, um, but I, having the Mere Smith and the number of artifacts that we've got in our deck, I think we're happy to keep and hope that we draw into a black source. Uh, yes, where did our opponent go? Um, so Fairy Mechanist is gonna be a good one for us to try and hit on turn four. And they've just gone ahead and cracked the ball straight away. So they kept a seven card hand as well. Sphinx is not the ideal draw, but it's also okay. If we can, if we can curve out here, hopefully a black source before too long. Okay, more black cards and non-land cards. <laughs> it's not exactly what we want. Um, so we could get punished by drawing more five drops and seven drops at this point, uh, or four drops, but a land would be nice. One land in the top three, surely not too much to ask. So Baleful Strix gets us a little bit, but Top of the Statue helps us recover from our Mana Screw as well as dealing with the Strix. Um, so at least we get to play the Mechanist next turn. We need to get in there. Plane's obviously not as good as Swamp there, but once we do draw the Swamp, we're going to be able to pretty swiftly deal with this Relic Runner. Which, at the moment, is threatening to do the beatdown thing pretty effectively. Relic Runner number two joins the fray. Alright. So this is good, because we can go Springleaf Drum, pay one for the Mere Smith. That was a great draw. Drum comes into play. Now, the choice is we can either play the capsule and get another creature, but I think we don't really need to do that. We can just go ahead and cast down if necessary. Although getting another creature means they have to have an artifact to get through unblocked, but no, I like just cast down and then we get to attack. So let's go like this. Cast down this one. We get to attack for two. And then next turn we get to ECAP make another creature. And get in there with our existing creatures and crack the ECAP. That feels pretty decent to me. So the Springleaf Drum doing a thing for us there. Salvager gets them a card back off the Wellspring. So not irrelevant at all. Oh, I haven't got my headphones on. It must look a bit strange going from one game where I have headphones on to uh, where I have headphones on to one where I don't. But anyway, they're back on now, so hopefully that'll cure any disconcerting feelings you had. Um, Painsmith could get a little bit painful here. A swamp would be an okay draw. Sanctum Gargoyle is also nice though, because that's a good blocker um, next turn. This turn, though, I think we still want to go because our Mears can block the Painsmith reasonably effectively, or they can chump block the Salvager. So here, as long as we go kill the uh, oh, hang on, this is not going to work. We're not going to be able to kill the Relic Runner this turn. That's okay. We we only have one Black Manor a turn, so we had to play that this turn. We're not going to get the trigger. So I think we just play the Mechanist. Yeah. So that was actually a little bit awkward. I didn't really think that through very well. At least we get that into play and we get to go Mechanist. We could have also played Cloud Raider Sphinx, but I think on reflection, that is actually still good. So we won't pay. We should have tapped the Mere Smith, I think is the one error we made there and left the Mere untapped to block. So no hits, that's sad. Folk first. Yes. So no attacks. Yeah, having the um, Mere back to block the Painsmith here probably would have been good. We can assume that they're going to have another artifact. I think we should assume while they've still got, you know, above two cards in hand that they're going to have an artifact to play every turn. 
to turn on this relic runner. Yep, so the Miss Mira Retriever comes down, which works extraordinarily nicely with their little Baleful Strix scenario. So they've certainly got their own mm, species of card advantage going on here. But we do get to kill Strix number two on the rebound, plus get our own capture back with our Sanctum Gargoyle the following turn. You know, obviously killing the Strix with the cast down when it comes back. Not ideal in some ways, because we're spending, you know, a premium removal spell to get rid of a creature that they've already drawn a card off and which didn't in, in any event cost them a card in the first place because they got it back with the Retriever, but getting it out of the way is going to allow our flyers to do their thing, which is, I think, probably going to be pretty important. But we are going to take quite the beating here from this Relic Runner this turn. If they've got another Ica Wellspring or something that's going to... A Gleaming Barrier? Okay, I can deal with that. Like, it's yes, it's two more damage this turn, which kind of sucks, but I think we should be okay once we get rid of that Relic Runner, hopefully. Unless we've got something else. No, okay, so it's eight, and then it's Chomp Block on the Salvager, which, yeah, would have been nice to have the Mir for, but we're going to do it with the Mechanist this turn. So we can go crack the E cap and topple the Baleful Strix. So we'll use the Mere Smith this turn, like we should have last time. Crack the E cap, kill the Relic Runner. And then hopefully they go in on the Baleful Strix with their triggers. Well, hopefully they don't have a removal spell for the Mia as well, otherwise we have to tap the Defiant Salvager, which is pretty painful. Yep, so they are going all in on the Strix, which is nice. Draining us for two is not nice. Hmm, okay, Maze of Ith is certainly going to slow things down. So they get in there. We topple the Strix. We get to cast down the Salvager next turn. But we also have to play the Gargoyle. So we need to draw some lands at some point to make this all work out. We also need to get more chump blockers for the... Oh no, we don't, because we're going to kill the Salvager, hopefully. Um, but we still will need to block the Painsmith. All right, well, a three-bit inspector helps a little, but unfortunately, I mean, it helps a little in the sense that it helps. It's a blocker for the Painsmith that also allows us to the tap itself for cast down. But that means that we can't play the Sanctum Gargoyle this turn, which I think we need to. So I think we'll need to play the three-bit inspector Chump block with the Thraven Inspector. Uh, and I think we need to play... Oh no, maybe we want another Mia. Yeah, let's get a Mia. Rather than playing the A-cap. Yeah, let's do that. We will get back our Executioner's Capsule. Over the Mechanist, I think. Although maybe we just want the Mechanist. Yeah, I think the Mechanist actually might be better. So we can play it next turn and get another Mia and have another Fly Blocker. So assuming that our Sanctum Gargoyle doesn't die, we could be okay here. Let's see what they got. Because our black man is tied up next turn and cast down anyway. Block the mirror. This gives me 
some optimism that we survive to next turn, although we are in Parasitic Strix range, so it's pretty nerve-wracking. Um, in some ways we don't actually want to kill that Strix, we just want to get more blockers. Um, well, we can Mechanist and we can cast down. One, two, three, four. Not pay for a mere. Ah, Vishkal on the bottom is not what we wanted to see because that's our main way to recover from being in Parasitic Strix range. But let's kill the Defiant Salvager now. Maze of Ith also deals effectively with Sphinx of the Guild Pact, which is not good. So I'm feeling pretty vulnerable sitting here on two life. Thought seizing either of our creatures is also not the best. Although, like, Sphinx doesn't do much, so in some ways they might actually take the Cloud Reader Sphinx here. Yeah. Executioner's Capsule does a thing. And then we can crack the clue. I think we crack the clue now because we could draw a swamp. Or a mechanist, okay. That will hopefully be okay for us next turn. The fact that we can't kill them swiftly through the Maze of Ith is going to cause us some problems, but we can't afford to go tapping flies at the moment because then we just are dead to any removal spell. Okay, Swamp is good. Uh, and that means we can do this, do this, and pay one with the Mere Smith's ability. To get another Mere. And then actually start trying to grind them out. No artifacts again. <laughs> It's just not our day on the artifacts, but at least we're kind of, I guess, getting through our deck to the point where we might find Vishkal again. Um, and attack with the Mechanist, the Gargoyle, and the Inspector. It's like, this is at least becoming a decent clock. Like, if they draw a couple more land off the top here, fingers crossed, then we could be okay. Okay, Mirror Retriever, but I think we want Sphinx, so 4, 6, 7, we're not going to be able to make a Mirror, but we can have the Sphinx, so let's get the 1, 2, 3, 4, that's Hackers, which will leave us with 3 blockers. This was the four blockers. We could have been a bit more aggressive. Forgot about the Maze of Earth there. That was not good. Esper Zoa. Okay. So that's a bit more of a problem because it makes it harder for us to attack. Um, we don't have a way to sacrifice our Mirror Retriever. But they are also dead unless they...
um, if I untap this, block this with the Espazoa, don't block with the Painsmith. They take one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and die. So I think that's okay because that's our worst case scenario. We end up still with two blockers and otherwise they have to sacrifice the Painsmith. to give us the Sphinx to block. Which means they've got to have something to remove the Sphinx. Hopefully it's not an unlicensed disintegration. That would be mightily upsetting. Hey, we got there. Whew. All right. So game number one in the bag. Heartless Pillage, I think, probably still isn't enough. Um, or isn't worth playing, rather. All of our removal seems like it was okay. Even though they have quite a few black creatures, they have plenty of non-black creatures. Topples are fine, obviously, and the revoke existence, so none of them are coming out. Mm, they did have a lot of flyers. So I think the mirror retrieve is probably not good enough. Um, and it just doesn't block their kind of relic runners and things like that. So I think it's just not gonna get there. Metallic Rebuke or Heartless Pillage is the question. I think probably Heartless Pillage is better. The Metallic Rebuke is very good. Now let's play the Rebuke. It's probably more consistently going to have an impact. Um, elsewhere, yeah. I don't think we don't want any of the others. Let's go with that. Salvage Titan. Could be all right, actually. We didn't really see all that much removal from them. Uh, and it just blocks their kind of defined salvages and those sorts of things. Um, we'll keep this one. It's a good hand. Give him a turn. Play the planes first. Playing harder as your first card for the game is not ideal but at least getting it out on the board is good. Presumably this is a Relic Runner, no Baleful Strix, fair enough. We may want to revoke existence that, but I think we'll hold off. Yeah, we'll definitely hold off now. Um, we'll play this and play the Mere Smith. Given the fact that they have Mere Retriever, I am more inclined to want to get this out of the way, and the fact that we are relying on Flyers to win the game We'll see what we run into. Well, that's a much better target, I think, for the Revoke Existence, so we'll go ahead and do that. It is a sweet, sweet combo. Baleful Strix and Espazoa. Thankfully, we deprived them of it. And then hopefully our Mechanist can hit something this game. That'd be ideal, wouldn't it? Thirst for knowledge. They've got plenty of cards. See an artifact going to the bin. And hopefully we can get a bit of value out of our own Hana here. A Gleaming Barrier. Fair enough. And they play the ball. ball. I still think we play the Mechanist. And we're not going to offer the trade with the Mearsmith. We will not pay, but we will use Mechanist's ability to grab the... Oh, this is a tough one. I 
think we want the mechanist at this point. And we'll put the, the brittle smith on the very bottom. Yeah, so next time we get to, hopefully, mechanist make a mirror. Or we can cloud read a sphinx, but I think mechanist make a mirror is better when we're facing down baleful strikes. Okay, well, perhaps Cloud Reader Sphinx will turn out to be better. We'll offer the trade with the Baleful Strix to see what happens. Okay, so they want to get aggressive, which is more of a reason for us to get that Cloud Reader Sphinx down so it can block at least the Riddlesmith. So we'll offer the trade. They accept. And then we'll play the, oh, gotta play land first. Then we'll play the Sphinx. Get ourselves, hopefully, some sweet, sweet gas on top of our library. And those two can go on the bottom. We've got enough swamps to play Vishkal. We've got enough land to do most of the other things we wanna be doing. So that was good. I mean, it wasn't quite a draw two, but it was very close to it. Ooh, sort of body in mind. Ouch. That's a problem. So fingers crossed topple off the top because that's going to end the game pretty quickly. So much for not taking the Sanctum Gargoyle. Well, one topple's in the bin, so we need to draw the second topple. No dice. All right. Uh, yes, we are in a lot of trouble, although we can play Hana Get Back Execution as Capsule the following turn. Uh, I think that's probably better than trying to Mechanist for one now, because we can't even use it now. So we're going to go down to, what, six cards in hand at that uh, in library at that point? Eesh. All right, well, we'll play the Hana. I think we're gonna die to damage first anyway, but attack with the Sphinx. Yeah, so if we get, get back Executions Capture, we're gonna take four, six, eight this turn. Um, probably could have held black to block We'll be on five. Probably could have held back to block the wolf with the Cloud Raider Sphinx, actually. But we do kind of need to kill them before we run out of library, which we're going to shortly. Even if we execution as capsule a creature. Is that the other topple in the bin? Yeah. Yeah, I think we can just concede here. We're just not going to come back against that. Uh, we've got no other ways to deal with the sort of body of mind other than a steel sabotage, which I think could be okay. It, they've also got, you know, loads of artifact spells. Um, I think those are going to be better than the Cloud Reader Sphinx number two. Uh, or the Diaflate Hoarder, perhaps. Yeah, Diaflate Hoarder doesn't block heaps of their stuff. Let's put the Sphinx back in. Dive, Defiant Salvager. Yeah. No, I think let's go with this. Defiant Salvage is okay, but without the Mirror Retriever, which we've already cut, I think it gets significantly worse. So we'll choose not to play first still. And we'll keep this hand. Like, they've got a reasonably greedy three-color deck as well. Um, so. They may not get exactly what they want in their opening hand. Um, well, this is not ideal. I think we'll just do this now so we can save some time. Land cycle for the island. Which also thins the deck a little bit. 
although drawing lands. We want to draw a few spells and then the lands to play this on the correct turns. That's the ideal outcome. So we've got the topple in case they've got the Espazoa, as well as the revoke. Okay. Uh, well, I still don't think we need to revoke now. We also know they've got the sword, so we need to be a little more, a little mindful of that. In terms of spending our artifact removal. They've certainly got high quality two drops, that's for sure. Echo Wellspring, plenty of cards, and there they hid the third colour. Well, that's alright, I guess we've at least got our three colours. Um, yeah, so we might kill the Baleful Strix here, I'll, I'll think about it. We'll see what they play, if they play anything pre-combat. But I'm kind of minded to just let that be for now. I think there are better targets for our Topple and our Evoke that we've seen. Okay. Um, does that make me more inclined to kill something or less inclined? I think it makes me more inclined to kill the Baleful, Baleful Strix because it makes our Cloud Raider Sphinx better. Um, cool. Yeah, so we've got the cast down now as an option. Or crack clue, and then we've got Cloud Raider Sphinx next turn, so I'm feeling okay about that. It's just unfortunate we don't really have the acceleration to get into the Sphinx. Yeah, we'll take the two. I think we'd prefer to crack the clue anyway than cast down if we don't have to. So they've also a very similar deck, somewhat the mirror match. Their deck looks like it might be, I wouldn't say a little better, but oh, they've got the sword now. Okay, well, at least we know what we're going to do with this Revoke Existence. Um, we'll crack the clue, because I think that's still better than casting down one of the Mechanists. Okay. So I've got the Sphinx this turn, which again, hopefully we'll find some gas. Vishkal would be good here. Uh, we'll put the Swamp on the bottom, and we will actually take the Mechanist, because there are still plenty of artifacts in our deck, but also it's good with uh, good to have more Mechanists if we're Sanctum Gargoyling, but also to offset their Mechanists a little. They could Galvanic Blast the Cloud Raider Sphinx, which would be pretty annoying. Um, they can also sort of Body and Mind on one of their Mechanists, so, but I think there was little that we could do about that. We could hold up the cast down. Um, and not play out a creature, but I think we can probably afford to take one hit from the sword here. And then just get rid of it. Yeah, so they had the Galvanic Blast, which is actually okay. Past. A lot of relevant things, but obviously this all makes our Sanctum Gargoyle better anyway. Um, okay, so that keeps all good. And we get to have now a pretty decent turn because we get to have Steel Sabotage up to counter something. And we get to do this and we get to cast down a creature. The other option is to not cast down, but instead play Sanctum Gargoyle. Perhaps that's better. We don't get to use Steel Sabotage as a counter spell that way, but the Sanctum Gargoyle actually blocks a lot of this, or all of their stuff. And we get to get back something. Um, I think we still want to get back the Capsule over the Mechanist. Because, ha I mean, having our own Mechanist is better if all we're doing with the Capsule is killing Mechanist, but. We can do more than just kill mechanists. With the capsule. Okay, so let's block like this and like this. Interesting. 
and use the Maze of Ith. We can also use the Steel Sabotage to rebuy our own creature if we want to. But I think we'll just play the Sphinx now. We'll take four, which is not great. But if we can then stabilize, we could be okay. Although this maze, the fact they drew maze when we've got Sphinx is also extremely annoying. And Vishkal's in the bin now, as you know. Okay, so we've still got a chance to draw Vishkal, which I think would get close to getting us there in combination with the Sphinx. Cool. Uh, so now we can go Vishkal. And we'll let that be. We'll wait till we untap and then do everything all at once. once we untap we get to play e cap attack with both and then they've got some tougher choices in terms of what they maze of if so play e cap okay attack with both So we'll kill the mechanist number two. They take five. And then we have Steel Sabotage and Metallic Rebuke up. I still have to assign our damage for some reason, but it gets prevented. So they're now taking five a turn, <clears throat> even with the Maze of Ith, which is a decent spot for us to be in. Yeah, that's pretty annoying. That's pretty annoying. Because all our spells are good. And we kind of didn't want them to know about the two counter spells. <laughs> They took the cast down, okay. Well, that's not a great draw. So we can also still sabotage our own Sanctum Gargoyle here to get back a Fairy Mechanist or an Executioner's Capsule. But I think we'd rather wait on that. Getting back a Fairy Mechanist would almost be strictly better than an Executioner's Capsule. I mean, it has the same rider as last time, but it just gets so much better now that we've got the Vishkal. And we can actually start just pinging their creatures with ours. Counter that. And 
hand mechanist is a very good draw. Hopefully hit an artifact, no dice. Okay, we'll put Hana first. Attack with these three. And then we can kill one with the Vishkal if they double block the Sanctum Gargoyle. Interesting. So I don't think we want to kill their creatures, even though they can continue blocking because we can just attack next turn. If they block the mechanist, then we get to kill one by trading. Let's just see what they've got here. Wellspring, okay. And cycles, we've got a counter spell that they know about if they've got something large. Bauble, okay. Yeah, so basically I don't think it's worth sacking a Mechanist to kill a Strix or a Mechanist at this point until it's their last blocker, and then it is worth doing that. Oh, we win! All right, they've conceded. Thanks for watching. Um, glad that we managed to get there for the trophy um, and the win. And uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed. I've been Jesse Marshall for The Winning Agenda. If you enjoyed this video series, um, make sure you hit like and subscribe. Show us that you support the channel and um, let us know that you're enjoying the content. Feel free to chuck us a comment, uh, get in touch with us on social media. Otherwise, we'll be back shortly with some more magic content. Thanks for watching.